Hi everyone, this is Miss Crochet Nerdy and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to make a queen bee. So it's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be able to show you how to crochet the queen bee because I don't necessarily have a designated area and I don't really have the camera or like the tools to show how to do things step by step. So I'm going to do this concept where I am going to draw on paint what I envision on making and then at the end show the end results of how I um, the finished project crocheted looks like so hopefully in the future if I get the stuff that I need or can get I can properly show um, how to crochet certain items and stuff so for now we're gonna do it this way <laughs> I hope you enjoy it either way if you do like some gaming stuff I do have a gaming channel it's puppy on ice the description or the link will be in the description down below and my wife also plays games so if you want to check her out she hasn't posted a lot of videos yet but hopefully here soon her um, name is Hades the Reaper so if you want to check her out the link would be in the description down below but anyways I hope you enjoy this video enjoy this video like share subscribe whatever and yeah well let's get to the fun art okay so I haven't used paint in a long time <laughs> as you can tell but I do notice that they have updated it a lot since the last time I used it I used it in like a long time ago when I was in school so it looks different but the same at the same time looks very modern <laughs> showing my age a little bit but okay so if I'm gonna make the queen I do want to make the queen big and fat because <laughs> I think it'll be really cute to have a queen that's really big and have little wings in the back it'll be really cute so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna start with black for the outline so let me do the head Okay, what I find really cool about this is I, I didn't make the perfect circle, but I can change it. <laughs> I can change it, which is pretty oh wait, hold on. Ooh. Alright, hold on. Let me let me show you. Hold on. So I have to keep with this tool. So I can make it elongated, short. And I just find that really cool. <laughs> it might not be cool to you, but it's cool to me. Okay, I'm gonna make I don't want to make her too big but my perception isn't the greatest when I crochet things so we'll see what happens when I crochet officially so <laughs> this is gonna be the head maybe I should do a side by side huh All right, I'll do a front and then a side and a back yeah that's what I'm gonna do can I can I copy that I wonder I don't want to fill it. Outline. As you can tell, I have no idea what I'm doing, but <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. So I can like, okay, hold on. So there's that circle. So I can like, okay. I wonder if I can't duplicate a layer. I have to like. Oh, I want. Okay, hold up, hold up. As you can tell, I have. N <laughs> I'm new. <laughs> so let me make a circle. I'm kind of curious about something. Okay, I made a circle. I'm gonna keep undoing and redoing. I might fast forward in some of these little. Um, art thing but hey I'm trying out here I'm trying I'm trying okay, maybe lower it right here whatever 
So let me make the body here. I want to make her a little chunky, you know, like chunky and a little elongated. Yeah. That'd be really, really, really cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Yes. I wish I could, like, copy it and, like, <laughs> paste it. Okay, if I commit, I commit to where they are. If it's slightly off, oh well. <laughs> I can't change it. Okay. That looks okay. This one's a little... Eh, it's fine. Okay. And then I need to make... Let's see what the shapes we got here. Um, Alright, so we got the body part. Little chunky, chunkier than the head. Little elongated. And if I'm gonna crochet the feet, I kind of want her to be able to sit and when you hold her, her legs kind of like um, dangle so it looks like she's standing. So, kind of when I crochet her legs, She's gonna be, they're gonna be mostly kind of in the front, like right here. Yes. Have little, ooh. Have cute little dangly feet, that'll be cute. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure. Something like that, something like that. Her arms. How do I? Oh, wait, wait. I could. Is there a way I can. Can I? Mm, how do I. There's no way to rotate this, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's undo that. It's the only way I can do it is with the squiggle. So the arm would be like like there. Kinda like okay, I'm gonna try my best to gonna be a difficult part here okay so let me see if I can like that um, uh, make that flat this is a lot harder than I thought it would be <laughs> but I'm trying round it out there we go kind of like a teardrop moment yeah like a teardrop moment. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to try to do it for the other one. Oh, goodness. Not exactly how I would want to put it up, but hey. Art is subjective. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. Make it full right there, and then. Yeah, make it a little. Like that. I mean, you get the picture of what I'm trying to do. Something like this. And then do lines. So like, because they're half black and half yellow, I believe. See? Oh, that's a little crooked. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a straight line. Went a little over a bit, but hey. Perfect. Okay. I want to do a cute little mouth right here. Cute little V, like, a cute little... Oh, oh, oops, 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 oops. Okay, let's try that again. Cute. There we go. Yeah 
cute little bee mouth. That would be so cute. Oh, I, I took away this one. What the heck? There you go. Yeah, so black here, black here, and black little lakes. So let's fill those in. Be super cute. Blah, blah. Black, black. And the arms will be black as well. Fill that in. Get this and lop it. Eee! That's cute. Okay, now I need to do the eyes. Okay, I was thinking about like kind of like anime eyes. I was thinking anime, kind of anime-ish eyes. So, oh goodness. All right. Uh, uh. No, stop it. Can we? Can I move it? No, oh, it's too big. Okay, so let me do this first. And then oh, making it small sucks. Okay. Uh... Okay. There we go. There we go, that's what I- Yeah, 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 okay. I like that. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hopefully the more I do these, the better artiste I become, because... This is hard. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, that looks good, right? <laughs> it looks good. So, that one looks bigger than the other. Ugh. Whatever. I'll f deal with that. Because I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't really... can't really change it now. I don't think. <laughs> Unless I redo it. Is it gonna bug me? It might bug other people, but oh well. It's my art. <laughs> I can do what I want. <laughs> so... I know in like anime-ish eyes, they do like the white little part right here, like that. No, I didn't mean to. Ah, okay, let's do that again. Do a little white sheen corner right here. All right. All right. Oops. God oh, damn it. Again. There we go. Got something else. Done that again. Okay. Oh dear. You get what I'm trying to <laughs> lay down. And then, like. I could fix that. <laughs> I could fix that. Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then have the color right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Listen, Linda, listen. <laughs> Not the beautiful art piece. See, so this is going to be all black, right? It's going to be a black circle. I was thinking having purplish um, eyes. But kind of have like a different kind of cue to it, too. Kind of like a little bit of like maybe pinkish or like, I have this yarn. It's a multicolored purple, and it has, like, purple, like, dark purple, light purple, and, like, pinkish. So maybe I can get that type of multicolored purple and, like, mix it in. I don't know how to blend this, to be honest. Should I do airbrush instead? Maybe I should... Oh, it, ooh. Okay. Go in and up. Okay. 
So kind of like, uh, whoa, <laughs> that's a little too much, Vanessa. <laughs> a little too much. How do I different color strands in here? Is there a blending tool? I don't think it has a blending tool. I don't know how to. I'm, I'm so. I'm so lost. <laughs> I don't think they have a blending tool. That's a huge brush. Yeah, I think this is a little bit limited for sure. So other than that, it's like vertical flipping. Remove background. You let us show and try. So like kind of like colors. Yeah, like adding some color here. Like little strands of like yarn. I think it's so big. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's let's back it up. Let's back it up a little bit. Adding a little bit of like different color of yarn strands. You have like different color hue. You know. There we go. I mean, it looks kind of weird drawn like this, but you get the concept, right? See, like a little bit of this, and they have like maybe light pink somewhere, you know? Like. Yeah. Let me cover that little dot here. So it has a little bit of... Can I... There we go. Let me add a little bit more white right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I also thought so it looked more kind of feminine, I guess, or more cute. Having, like, extended... Ooh, I could do a triangle. Wait, will it? Um, yeah, I guess I could do this one instead. Kind of like this. Oops. Oops, oops. I need the straight one, thank you. Okay. Yeah, like that. I have cute little, like, eyelashes so that she knows. She's She's the queen. Yeah, something like this. Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. And okay. And I put a little bit of an like an eyebrow. That'd be cute. A more animated face. Oh, they're so cute. I did think about maybe some blush. But I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't know if I might use some of my... Because I know uh, a lot of yarn creators, when they want to do a little bit of blush, sometimes they'll use actual like blush powder and put blush on the yarn to give them that little pink um, or reddish kind of cute hue. Or they do yarn and they put like little cute little streaks like this I'm debating if I want to do that or not because it is a cute it's cute it'll be cute oh you know what I forgot to put on my little cute bee Hold on let me back out a little bit this oh I am oopsies whoopsies little antennas they're little oh uh. I mean yeah the little bee antennae right here it's not the perfect <laughs> circle but it's fine it's fine like Bob Ross would say cute 
or what was it? Happy little accidents. So, you know, we're rolling with it. Let me make her skin, not her skin, kind of like a, a yellow. Because it is a bee, a bumblebee. Yes. Oh, she's so cute. And I know they do have like a floof on their neck. So I am going to do that. Thinking about doing that because it would be really, really cute. What type of... Hmm, I could do this, but I don't want it to... They don't have like little clouds. The only little cloud looking thing is this. But, um, I guess I'm gonna have to freehand it, which is... A little... Okay, so my idea is... Kinda... Oh wait, no, I can do the triangle. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, can I flip this over? Oh wait, no, 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 I can, hold on. Flip. Flip. There we go, yes, that's what I want to do, okay. So, make little triangles, like this. Okay, right, right, bear with me, bear with me. Come on the journey with me. <laughs> And then keep the same type of triangles going, right, around the neck. So let me... Um... Okay, I need a different background for sure. Let me... There we go. Oh, colored my... A triangle. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We'll just make it again. Can I give it more volume right here because it looks weird? Doesn't look too flat, you know. There you go. And I give it more like a soft round touch to it. So yeah, so making little tri triangles. Debating if I want to felt this maybe. Get like a yarn that is a little bit more fuzzy and whatnot. Okay. Or maybe just actually crochet triangles and whatnot. Or actually use felting and like make it. I'll see what I um I'll see what I'll do. I'll see. But I was thinking, I don't think they have a flower, <laughs> but it'd be really cute. I wonder if I... Hmm. Okay. To make her like a queen, a queen queen of acuteness. Hmm. I don't know what color of flower officially I want to use. Hmm. Maybe give her a soft... Flower kind of pastel y going. Because she's cute. Alright, I'm not really good with flowers. <laughs> Especially if it's on a computer. I'm using a mouse. So. Maybe I can do like a. Yeah, something similar to this. I'll do like a maybe a lighter color inside so you can kind of see it better. I was 
thinking maybe having like little cute flowers on the side. Make a big blob here. And then I'll put in details in here in a second. Yeah, kind of like have a big cluster of like cute flowers as the crown. I have to figure out how to put it on the head of of the bee. Maybe a bandana, like a, not bandana, what's it called? Put um, a headband, kind of like a baby headband. So I can like hot glue the flower or something. I'm debating if I want to crochet the flower. I want to actually get fake flowers. I think fake flowers would be a lot easier than crocheting. I mean, I have crocheted flowers, but I feel like it's not really the best. I feel like to make it a little bit easier and a little quicker to make it, I think doing fake, a fake flower. So I'll just put a little. And then maybe put it on a headband, maybe something close, maybe a white headband. I don't know, but maybe I could do a headband, put it around the head so it's easier to maybe sew in the headband yeah maybe sew in the headband so it doesn't fall off or easily be taken off yeah hot glue it hot glue the the flowers that'd be super cute so she's officially the queen bee <sighs> now the difficult part here is um, trying to make it on the other side <laughs> okay let me It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You know, this will get my creative skills going and this will help me coordinate better with... I mean, there's some people who can make beautiful art with paint. I am not one of those people. <laughs> I make mediocre art. I mean, I could try to do pixelated art. I mean, maybe pixelated art would be better for me, but you know what? I am proud to be a amateur beginner paint artist I'm not ashamed just a little embarrassed <laughs> you can't tell me what to do mom Been in mind, it's like kind of like a lacy headband, so I think it would be easier to put stuff inside the, the lace band if that makes sense because it has like holes and stuff and it's stretchy, so I think that would be good. Yeah, so my idea is getting kind of a lacy stretchy headband kind of like a little baby headband that will be small but big enough for the Think about sewing it in. Let me make the little antennas. I'm totally forgetting little antennas. You 
you can tell I I focus more on the front than the back, but it's fine. Totally fine with it. So much easier. I should have done that in the beginning. I'm so stupid. Anyways. God, this is the Queen Bee, okay? Look at it in all its glory. <laughs> I'll do the worker ones in a different video, cause... Girl, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. But I, that, I think that's what I'm gonna do. To not overwhelm myself, I'm gonna do the queen bee first, and then I'll draw the workers on how I would want them to look. And yeah. So this is the queen bee. I'm going to go with the typical yellow and black bee. If I might make another queen bee. Like, there's different ways I want to make the queen bee, but I'm not 100% sure. I know I want to use the thick yarn and then use maybe a thinner yarn for the wings to make it small. I think that'd be really, really cute. But, um, for sure, for the little crown of flowers, I was thinking maybe doing a lot more flowers or maybe just the flowers that, just like a big flower, then two little flowers in the front. I mean, that'd be just simple and cute. Maybe do blush, I'm not 100% sure. There's different ways I want to go about this, but... I'm for sure gonna use thick yarn, baby thick yarn. The Bernard, Bern I think that's what the yarn brand is, Bernard yarn. I don't know if I wanna felt the collar right here or make it with thin yarn. I don't know, there's different ways. I might make two versions of it. I'm not 100% sure I might because <laughs> it does take a bit of time, especially if I'm gonna have a job. <laughs> I might, ha I might get an actual 9 to 5, guys. It's gonna be great. Well, not officially 9 to 5. Maybe, it's like, some hours, but whatever. I'm gonna get an actual job, so videos are gonna be sparse. In this instance, this is the finished art project. And here in the cut, you'll, <laughs> you'll see the result of what I thought I how I envisioned it with art I guess or made it with art for you it might not take that long it might take a millisecond but for me it's gonna um for me it's gonna take a couple days <laughs> to finish it might not look like it will take that many days but I I'm a procrastinator I'm trying to work hard not to be a procrastinator so 
wish me luck. But yeah. When you see this, it's gonna be the ending product. Alright, you guys ready for the big reveal here? I am super excited. Alright, so I'm gonna show you the end result of the B. So, here we go. So this is what I drew. And this is what I managed to create. Anyways, this is what my bee looks like. It was super beautiful outside, super sunny, and I thought it would have been a great opportunity to show off my bee out in the weather because it's spring's here or almost here. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but it's here. It's beautiful. I did my best. I did super glue the flowers on the head and the, on, the head, on the headband too. I super glue the flowers and I super glue the headband on the head and I made the little wings super cute. But yeah, this is what it turned out. I'm really happy with it. I did do that one technique that some um, crochet people use and it's like the blush. <laughs> so I used my, my blush and I blushed the cheeks and I, th and I think it turned out really cute. I think it turned out really great. Super cute. So yeah. So yeah, that's the end result of my project of making a queen bee. Maybe in the next episode, I'll either try to work on or kind of do like the worker bees or do a different type of little project and see if how, you know, I have a lot of ideas. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next. It's all in my head. I don't know. There's too many projects at once. But we'll see how that goes. But, um... I don't know when I'll open my Etsy. It's up to debate ever since, like, a lot of stuff has happened throughout the years. I think I'm gonna slow down on it and actually have enough... Enough things to... Um... And it's just, like, have, like, a lot of stuff to sell i guess right now i'm just kind of making stuff just to make stuff get myself back into it have more creativeness into it and have more fun with it not be as stressed out so yeah i hope you enjoyed that video and see you when i see you bye stay creative everybody hope you enjoyed it